I've already wrote all this code, but I'm going to write it over for you guys because I like you. All right, so V registration form. It's going to pop this thing up here. There's no validation in this. Uh, maybe we'll do another video uh, when it comes to putting in a database, but I just wanted to show how to lay this out right here. So just say Bob at AOL.com, and then we'll put 25 in there. Well, I'm, I'm actually 38, so let's go with that. And bam, and then it'll print out at the bottom here what we got. Right, let's put that back. Okay, you know, if we put female, no other, bam. All right, so I just I just want to show you know at the beginning what we're what we're gonna do, right? Okay, so all right, so let's go over here and okay. Uh, all right, so we're on a VUI page, right? Let's make sure I'm recording. Yep, I'm recording. All right, uh, we're in a VUI page right now, right? And <clears throat> how how we go about finding out how to do these things? We go into examples here, and you can see there's an example of this form right here, right? And it's called users.v right there, right? So we'll check check out users.v to set up our situation right here, right? And it's using a lot of stuff we're not going to use. So let's all right, let's just. All right, so let's go import. We'll set up our boilerplate or import UI. Okay, instruct app. All right, we'll put mute, bam. Okay, and then we'll put window, which is going to be a reference to UI dot window capital. Okay, and then we'll bring it down to FN main. Create a function, create the main function. Okay, uh, can't type today. Okay, FN main. All right, and in here, we're gonna uh, initialize the app. Okay, so app, and then we're gonna put uh, window zero. Okay, so that's all we need to get that started. And then app. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a reference, okay? And then we got to do the window, okay? So, there's going to be a reference here an app.window. Come on now, app.window equals <coughs> ui.window. Then we're gonna put uh, UI dot run app dot window. Okay, so we gotta put in the so we'll make this uh, height and where do we put the height in this form? Okay, 600 by 400. All right, and then 400. Then we'll put title. Register. It's actually a string. Come on, dude. stop with the damn noise. Okay, and then we'll put the state app. Okay, so this should uh, we should be able to run this right here. V run. Um, what is it? Registration form two. Registration two dot v. Mm, Alright, so we got a registration form coming up, right? Okay, so now we're going to make a lot of changes to this. So we're going to do V watch run registration form 2.v. Okay. Alright, so we got that coming up there, right? And it'll just keep every time I save, it'll go, right? Alright, so. Let's create a uh, um, put name in there, and this will be a string, okay. And then you know we'll do our UI elements first, right? And then we'll do um, uh, you know we'll, yeah we'll just come down here and we'll do it this way, okay? So children, okay. So in here, 
this is going to be all of the um, the columns and, and rows that we're going to put, right? So let's put, okay, UI.column. Column is going to be up and down, vertical, right? All right. And then inside of here, we're going to put children in here as well. And then, well, not, this is going to be a, a array. <clears throat> children. And then UI.textbox. Okay. Okay, and we'll put text. And it's going to be this variable name. Name this is how we're gonna. Uh, this is how we're gonna manipulate the text field. So it's gonna be name or uh, app dot name. Okay, and then we're gonna put um, we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put the placeholder, and then it's gonna be uh, gonna be name. Let's put first name. Okay, and you know we'll put this up here. Let's do the width. Let's see what I put is the width before, right? Uh, okay, and this first one. It's only set the height. Okay, so height one hundred. All right, and where did I mess up? Okay, right here. We gotta put children in there, right? That name. I think there's gotta be a reference. Okay, so you can see we have our text field first name, right? So on this column, we're gonna put a little space. So we're gonna put a margin. And it's going to be UI dot margin, and these are curly brackets right here, right? So let me see what I did before, right? Uh, we did 5, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so 50, 20, 20, 50, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so let's see what we come up with now. All right, so we got this down centered, and we have the placeholder first name, right? So we're going to make this easy on ourselves. So we'll just copy this again. And we'll put in the email field. Email address. Okay, so we'll put email. Okay, and it should come up again. Okay, app dot email. What do we what do we do wrong here? Okay, we didn't we didn't even add the email string. Okay, so email string okay perfect so it should come up now and it should give us an email right so now we're gonna put a spacing let's see what we did before right spacing of 10 okay so that spacing will put so spacing 10 let's put the, put a nice little space in between there right okay all right now what we're gonna make is we're gonna make our uh, our radio button group right so we're gonna put uh, for gender um, UI dot radio okay and when you put this up here right you have to initialize this over here right so let's change this around and initialize this down here so we'll put we'll put gender and we're gonna put uh, let's go let's go over to the code we're not gonna look at my code we're gonna look at what they did over here right so okay so we see that in this in this uh, code over here there is a radio button you see they have a radio button for country so and you see that they they put it up here and then they initialized it down here and they called it state instead of app and so basically did a UI radio so let's go like that okay so UI dot radio go 
Come on, come on. Okay, work with me. Radio. And we're going to put this here. I'm going to put this a width of 200. Then we're going to put the values in. And this is going to be, uh, we're going to put, we're going to be inclusive here. So we're going to put male, female, and then we're going to put other. Okay. And we'll see what they did over here again. Uh, and then we put the title. Okay. So we'll put title in there. And we'll put uh, gender. All right. Okay. Well, we didn't put it. We didn't actually put it anywhere. So it's going to show up, right? Not going to show up. Okay. So we did. Uh, we have a column. You know, I kind of, I, I, in the other form, I move this to the inside, right? So, what we got to do is we'll make another column. So, let me make sure. See, Visual Studio's code is so wonderful. See, it tells you right here that it's going to this one. So, I know this is the last one. Okay, so let's put in another UI dot column. Okay, bam. Okay, and then we'll put the children in there. Children in there. And then I think we did a UI row. Well, let me check it out. Let me check it out. So let's go down. Because I did another column. I did one column. Okay, so I did a I did a UI row for this, right? So let's just do a UI row. Row. And then we're gonna put in here app dot gender. Okay. And we got this. Um, you can see okay, let's see what we came up with. Let me see if it's put it in the right place. Okay, no, it put it all the way up there, right? All right, so how do we fix that? I think I have to actually put this inside of here. See if that went right. Still didn't go right, okay? So maybe, what did I do? I put, okay, so it is inside of its own, is it inside of its column or what? Oh, I made the age thing, right? So I did, I did this backwards, right? Okay, so let's just, let's just add this in here, right? Alright, so UI column. Let's go back and put it where we had it at. Alright, so... UI UI column. All right, now we got to put children inside here. Children, and we're gonna put this down here. All right, and let's move this over to clean this up a little bit. You know, let's move this down. this over to clean this up a little bit. Put this UI row in here. Let's see if this works. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, still up at the top, right? So, um, all right, let me put this, uh, put another UI dot text box. Okay. And this is going to be, uh, we're going to put text comma here. Text. I'm going to put a reference to app dot age. Okay. And then oh, it's okay. Uh, was it 
height 100. It's probably width 100. 100. And then placeholder age. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I think I gotta. Alright, here's what I gotta do. I gotta delete it here to get to look the way I want it to do. Delete it or cut it there. And then bring this all the way down the end. So, this. Because we want everything to be in one column structure, right? Okay, I think I gotta make a comma up there. I gotta put a comma here. Okay, so now we got it looking like I want it. We got the age there. And then, okay, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a button in there, right? So we're going to do this outside this column. So let's put, uh, let's see if it's over here. I think it is. UI, UI, go ahead, uh, UI. Uh, button and then we're gonna put uh, text submit okay and then on click put uh, the submit function down here uh, FN uh, submit and then we're gonna put mute app app and here it's gonna it, it, this one click is gonna pass the app to the submit function right okay so there we go let's see what we got Click submit. Okay, I gotta put a comma in there. On click submit. Okay. You want a button? Is it on click or is there a space in there? Let me see what we got here. Mm, I did it backwards. I did it another way. Okay. All right. So let me show you that. I forgot that I did it that way. All right. So here we go. All right. So we're gonna make another UI element, which is gonna be a uh, submit. It's gonna be a reference to UI dot button. Okay. And uh, so now that means we have to initialize it down here. So we're gonna call this submit and then we're going to put ui dot button no we just cut cut it from there so so we pretty much got it like we want it all right and then down here we'll put app dot submit because what will happen is it'll it's going to take that that submit is going to be a reference to this button up here that you're making, right? And then and then you initialize this button right here inside of this abstract right here. Okay? So let's see what we got. Saying on click submit. Okay, what did I do wrong here? On click submit. Let me just add this in there for the height and the width. Function submit. Let's call this submit form. Maybe it's having a conflict with the the string. 
Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it's probably having a conflict with itself. So let's say submit form. Still submit form. Alright, I guess some values get passed, so up here you have to um it, it takes two values. The submit form function needs to take two values, right? Or to, it passes two arguments. So we'll put x void pointer. Void pointer is just it could be anything, right? So I guess you can pass things to it, right? Okay, so so why aren't we seeing this button? Okay, look, what do we do in the other one? Alright. Okay, we put a, a UI a UI row. Okay, we put a cut oh, we made a whole column, right? I'm just gonna cut and paste this right here. Okay, so we gotta put it in between here. Alright, so we got everything now, right? And, okay, so now when we press this button, we'll be able to get all the values. There's no validation on this. Like I said, we're not putting this in a database or anything. I basically wanted to show how to lay out this form here, right? So, let's just take the values. I'll show you how you get the values, right? And we'll put, uh, we'll put print. Print line. I think print line works, right? And then we'll take app. We'll put this inside of this. Okay. So we'll put app dot name. Name. Then we'll put app dot age. So what what we're basically doing is we're taking we're we're getting these strings, right? Where this name is a reference to the name in this text box right and then we're calling it down here to get the value right and we're doing the same thing with age right so age we've declared this up here and then we're putting this in uh, we're putting this in the age you know this is the age text value right here or the string value and then we're calling it down here right so we also have email so we'll put email and then we've got uh then we've got app dot gender and this one we have to put selected value that's a function okay so I think we have all of them. Email, yeah, I didn't put app.email. App.email. Alright, so we'll put Bob Bob at AOL.com that shows how old I am. <laughs> 38. And he's a male. So and you can see that we got all the values right there. We printed them down here. Okay, and we can change it, change it, make Bob other, and you can see it prints out other. Okay, that concludes this video. Thank you for your time and attention.